Andrew Luck? Oh, you're a god, Andrew Luck. You're a god. Is Andrew Luck him, I dare say? I dare say in the chat. And Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, what is up with these guys? Be super bummer, dude. YouTube, the captain Andrew Luck, a.k.a. Promo, just came out. Limited quarterback. Is it worth it? Should you spend money before we even start? No. Is he the best quarterback in the game? Probably is. Is he that much different than whatever quarterback you're rocking right now? Absolutely not. Don't fool yourself. Wait until his price goes down. By the time his price goes down, there's going to be an even better quarterback that comes out. Don't spend money on a quarterback, especially a limited. But I'll show you guys what I got on Andrew Luck, the Capitan. Let's get it. This is my team right now I'm rocking. I'll probably rock something similar here for the tournament this weekend. You guys know we play that live on Saturday and Sunday, so you guys can tune in there live on Twitch. That link is below. Let's check out this team right here. Right now, I'm rocking a Dolphins and Campus Heroes theme team. I have Season 1 Motivator for Jalen Ramsey. Um, I changed the Dolphins anticipating their 70-point performance would give them a really fast running back, maybe. Or any player, we'll see. But at the end of the day, it's all about Tyreek Hill's speed. So you can get that with Chiefs or Dolphins or anything like that. So for the most part, for me, uh, that's really what it's about. But with Dolphins, you also get Jalen Ramsey. I'll show you that on defense. Uh, so right here, we have Andrew Luck. Here he is. I have not been using Gunslinger the last week or so. So I don't even have Gunslinger. I just have Gift Wrap. I think Gift Wrap is a must. You won't drop random passes. And you won't drop random high balls. You can high ball like last year, get the ball over defenders, back at the end zone, everything like that. I think gift wrap is an absolute must. I've been using it all year. So I've been experimenting without Gunslinger. And it's been working pretty good. It has been. So, I mean, I think I'm going to rock no Gunslinger. Uh, but this is Andrew Luck. There he is, 85 speed, definitely mobile enough, good throw power, all his – I mean, he's he's the bid, so to speak. So we'll see. I know you guys say, what's his release like? I, I – Honestly, never really noticed the difference. Jordan Love, I thought, had the quickest. Uh, but other than that, everybody was pretty much the same for me. We have Bo Jackson. Tyreek Hill, of course, with that Dolphins theme team is going to be 91 speed. Uh, so he's a burner. You know what? He's going to be really hard to guard. He is short. He is small. I don't know what his his release is. I guess they don't even show that until maybe we go down to offense. But at the end of the day, uh, much like our boy um, – DK Metcalf, I think just being smaller, you're going to get pressed a little bit more and more often. But he's so fast that he's just going to get by. He's going to get by the defenders from time to time, and you can't deal with that speed to begin with. So Tyreek Hill, here he is. This is what we're going to rock with. Obviously, 57 strength is not the best, but 91 speed. He's the best. He's the fastest in real life, fastest on the game. And to combat our 5'9 receiver, we're going to have Big Mike and Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson. 100% is the best receiver in the game, without a doubt. If you told me is a card worth it, I would tell you Calvin is because he's huge, he's fast, he can juke, uh, he gets it done, 100%. He can jurtle, juke, run deep routes, short routes, anything. He's tall, he's fast. 88 speed is the fastest stock you can get right now. Mike Evans is like Calvin Johnson, except he cannot juke. So I would say there's probably there might be better options. I mean, Hyatt is still a god, and he can juke. I think the 85 juke is the number that you get to. He can be able to juke. You see Mike Evans is 82. So I like Mike just because he's huge. Pause. But he can't juke. So maybe a guy like Hyatt or somebody that can really like make plays after the catch is maybe a little bit better because the juke is so powerful this year. Uh, it's definitely important. And that's another downside with my tight end, Rob Gronkowski. Same thing. Like huge can block. Catch passes the fastest you can get at the tight end position. But if you go down here, he's got 73 juke. So he's not juking at all. He can definitely truck and stiff arm, which is decent, but the animations are so slow this year. Uh, but I think Gronk just intangible speed, everything I'm using him. O-line, I don't think it matters that much. You just can't have 78s out there, really. And I think bigger guys are better. The fatter, the better on the O-line. Really, that's what I learned. Bo Jackson's best running back in the game. My other abilities are slot apprentice on Tyreek Hill for that short post route. And the angle route on Bo Jackson. Like, I have these two slot apprentices. I pretty much only use the post route to the slot and the angle route to the running back. So those are my two other abilities I can use because I don't have Gunslinger. And we have Energizer on Bo Jackson. And you can go to the crib for the most part. Now, here we go. Defense. We're going to rock primetime. Charles Woodson up top. We're going to rock Joey Porter Jr. Antonio Cromartie outside of corner. Jalen Ramsey in the slot. You see him right here. With that Dolphins theme team, with that season one theme team, 89 speed, 
92 man coverage, six foot one. Uh, Ramsey has always been a dog. The biggest thing too is he can always hit 72 hit power, 88 press. He's got man. He's got zone. He's got play rec. He's a god. Best corner in the game, I would say. I don't know if he can get pick artists at this level. I don't think he can. I think we got to wait to the next next level. But I think I would wind up putting him out wide at some point instead of Cromartie or maybe safety instead of Woodson or something like that. But right now he's in a slot, manning up, pressing people, things like that. So Ramsey's a god. We're going to use Micah Parsons. We're going to use Bruce Smith, and we're going to use Lawrence Taylor. Linebacker Sean Taylor, Isaiah Simmons. Also have Palomalu lurking around here somewhere I use on the team. Eric Berry's on the team as well, just in case. So that's the squad, boys. Like I said, Dolphins, Campus Heroes is the wave. Let's take a look at how Andrew Luck plays in this game. And before, don't even think about it. He's not worth it. Don't spend money for this quarterback. If you have a plethora of, of coins and money and cards, go ahead. If you're playing in a tournament and you really want the best edge you can get, try him out. If you're one of them casuals at home that play head-to-head -head, enjoy having fun, don't spend your money on this quarterback. Not worth it. But take a look at how he plays. Yeah, but honestly, the running back's not that big a deal, really. We'll see what the other cards are because ultimately it's about wide receivers and DBs, really. That's almost that's why Dolphins are good. You get Rams and you get Tyree Kill. Everybody else, like, don't really matter. I don't know. I haven't been using Slinger for two weeks, where I really haven't. I don't know. I could be tripping, but I haven't thought I do not need it. That's a good way to start the evening. You can't make that pitch. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I hate this game. Like you gotta fit that pitch through there for the content, right, boys? Jukebox, nice. Motion. Him. Having fun, boys. I don't know what the fuck's going on right now. I don't really know what's going on. Imagine not picking that off, Dubby. I mean, there's just no way he throws that on the knee fast for yards here. Love to see it. I think it's car for here. Damn, I got no momentum right there. Andrew Luck? Oh, you're a god, Andrew Luck. You're a god. Is Andrew Luck him, I dare say? I dare say in the chat. I mean, dude, you had no desire to run your route right there. Like, just none. I I just completely hate passing the end zone like with a passion. I hate it. I, I really hate it. Why would I use Christian McCaffrey in all seriousness? Like why would I use him? He's not he's not Campus Heroes theme team. And he, I mean he's probably better catching the ball, but Bo Jackson can juke as good as anybody and he can whatchamacallit. Ready. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. This, this whatever he's doing right now is dog shit. I mean, sometimes you just gotta be a man player, though. Like, you just gotta, like, who the hell would I ever run this defense against other than this guy? You know? Like, who else would I ever run this defense on? Except this fucking moron. You know, it's like. God damn, get his shit up. 
There's just no way you're in the public fucking field. I mean, like, what what can McCaffrey do better than Bo Jackson? Bo will truck people, stiff arm people, everything. Like, he's the full package as a man. I mean, he'll probably catch in traffic better than Bo Jackson. I'm gonna get weak boxed. You gotta respect these kids though, man. They stick to their, their offense. What an absolute blessing. What a blessing from D909. Physical football. We really are. In this age in this age of pussy football, we are underrating. We are underrating the physicality on a football field. I mean, look at what I'm playing right now, dude. Like just look at this. I just look at this shit, dude. Bro, I don't know why I'm not running that shit. Like, for real. I don't know why I'm not running that. Why is Henry not running that? You know, why do you run bunts when you can run that shit? Like, for real. Like, why would you run bunch? A W offense that's got one touchdown and fucking two drives. Yeah, just drag him forward for it. Why not? Why not drag him forward to it? Dumbest shit in the fucking world, dude. Onside kick me. Ah, uh, so Hertz is so strong. Hertz is so strong, that's why it's good for the Eagles. Yeah, okay, well. So since our quarterback's so strong, we shouldn't be able to run that, huh? Is that what you're telling me? Like, Lamar Jackson shouldn't be able to run fast then, huh? Like, that's just not fair. It's really just not fair. Because apparently it's just not fair, dude. What happened there, dude? Oh, I'm fucking different. Oh my god! Okay, Andrew Luck doesn't fumble first time hit. Oh, he might be a god. guy's actually just too good when i really when i really break down the film against this guy it's honestly too good this dude's as smart as a fucking oh you put him in a fucking zone wow this is rags offense this the the cornerback the running back motion out this is rags offense It's not a fumble? So, so what you're telling me is that that was a forward pass is what you're telling me. Is that you're telling me that was a forward pass, EA? Nice. Corner out the Gronk. Here it is, boys. Corner out the Gronk. You actually want to run that dog shit? Give me the ball. Holy shit. The worst part is, man, this guy's probably just cheating the hell out of people, right? Like, they're, he's probably cheating the hell out of good Samaritans. Some good Samaritans he's probably cheating the hell out of, isn't he? Just bad. Just bad business from the kid. You seriously leaving that one-on-one -on -one out there? Are you are you joking? Are you joking, you little boy? Yeah, man. You know, those people really probably, like, getting cheated by this guy. I mean, you're going to leave one-on-one -on, -one on me again? I mean, Landry Luck, we soared that? Yeah. The good guys want to play some sim football. You know, I mean, it, it just takes a, a, a man of, of 20 years experience to learn to put zero yard hard flats on both sides and not rush the quarterback. You know, it's not like it's rocket science. He's got three tight ends out here. They're not going to really beat man coverage. I don't got to worry about nothing. Put these guys out a little bit so they don't get like, you know. I don't really know what to do against the running minds. We're going to stay back here. Like, he doesn't have a pass play. Look at this. Like, that's his pass play. Like, that's it. Honestly, it's funny how you guys, like, haven't. Like, what do you think? I changed my abilities because I got a new quarterback? I just really feel bad for all the guys that get put through this offense.
Yeah, dude, just just awesome, man. Like. And best, best player on the Eagles, honestly, is uh, Lane Johnson. I mean, he plays like Rag, too, a little bit. He plays like Rag a little bit. I always, I always appreciate these guys sticking to their game plan, you know, I really do. Dog, that's insanity. Like, I bodied him as much as I possibly could right there. I really did. That was the, that was the best user I could have on that play. It really was. You know, the worst part about this game is how I simply can't, uh, I can't rush three people. Here, you know, I gotta rush four, I get pancake. Dumbest thing ever. Honestly, the dumbest thing possibly ever. It really is the worst part of Madden 24. The pancake if you rush three people. I don't know how to stop that shit. Like, this is just like, Actual trash, man. I mean, just want to run option here. I don't even know you could run it back like that other way. Like, no, I really don't know how to stop the option. I really don't. Yeah, that's the worst part of the game is that I get pancaked. Getting pancaked is literally the dumbest part of Madden. You know? I've never understood the argument for it. Dollar, it's going to stop the run. Why not, dude? Like, is all of a sudden Bruce Smith a little baby because, because you're only rushing three people? I mean, god damn, Eric Berry really stayed with Tyreek Hill right there. Wow, the first time in the whole game. Wow. This is why I like the running back angle route, boys. That's why we like it. Andrew Luck, can you hit this? All right, Luck already better than Vic. Seen enough. Oh, my God. I don't know if Vic is moving like that. Vic really don't get going, like, sad to say, but he really, like, don't get going. Like, you just gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Dude, like, that shit is OP, dude. I honestly don't know what to do about it. Do you guys know what to do? All right, it's gonna go to the left here. User it. Motherfuckers on the other side of the fucking field, dude. Like, y'all, you're the fucking biggest idiot in the world. Of course, I'd love to use her, dude. Do you see where he pitches the ball to? What do I look like? Flash running out there? Like, all right, the, the run goes to the right. I know it's stupid. It's 34 to 16. Of course it's stupid. This guy sucks. Dog. <laughs> Yo, like, like, how is this working, dude? Do I suck at the game? Like, do I suck? Like, what is going on out here, dude? Do I think opting on conservative would help? Do I think opting on conservative would help? Dude, I, maybe I tried that in the first fucking quarter, Tat. Maybe I tried that. Maybe I said, can you put the opting on conservative? I just never thought to do that. Oh my goodness, can you actually make that adjustment? Can you make, can you put that adjustment? Like, what are they gonna do when you put? I didn't know you could do that. That is coach. You could do that, coach. Oh, it's right there. I thought I'd do that right away. I, I just never played him. I never played Madden before. It's my first game. My first game. Oh, you can do well. You can do anything you put your.
survive through it. It's definitely right here as an option. Oh, yeah. Because I put it on conservative. And YouTube's going to think that I just put it on conservative when it was on conservative the whole time. Yo, fuck, I told the chat knows. The chat knows. Let me tell you something about me, boys. To you. Dog, maybe I need McCaffrey for that reason right there. The double Mabel is the greatest defense in Madden. You know why? Because you never know where there's no hole. When you think about that defense in Madden, you realize there's absolutely no hole in it. The double Mabel is the greatest defense Madden has ever seen. Gun bunts is solid, but everybody uses it. So therefore, it's not as solid. Gun bunts is it's a solid, but everybody uses it. So I don't want to use that. I want to run slipper lap. Look out, boys. Slipper lap thing coming your way. Look out, boys. I mean, two man under is working really good for this guy. Like, when you think about defenses, you gotta realize that triple option is one of his favorites. You know, or two man under is working so well for this guy. Oh my God. I just really feel bad for all the people that he beats for being a cheese ball. I really do. He probably wins so many games being an absolute cheese ball. And it's frustrating because there's people that think Madden sucks because of this guy, you know? And he probably makes life miserable for a bunch of people. But now you guys know what happened there, Andrew Luck? What happened there, dude? Now you guys know what happens when something like this gets on a real field, you know? I mean, he's having a good time, this guy. You know, he really is. He's having a good time. This is where I get pancake. Oh, we didn't get pancake? I can't believe this guy doesn't have double Duke boxes. Like, if he had double Duke boxes, I'd be worried. There it is. There it is. Pitch. Oh, another pick by Palomalu. What a play. Oh, we're going to put the ball down right there and walk away. Troy P. There it is. There it is, boys. There it is. You know, did did we absolutely cut the cheese right there? Did we cut the cheese? Did we cut the cheese? That's what I want to ask the boys. Did we cut the cheese right there? Did we do it? You know what we're going to say on YouTube? But gun buns is teeth. Why? Because I put a streak in a corner route and make a read. And I got to put a drag and I put a running back route and I have to make a read. Is that cheese to you? That's teeth. That was cheese. And that beats a lot of people in Madden, boys. All right? Remember that. It's because Troy Palomalu is high awareness. You need the players with high awareness. Because, you know, Jalen Ramsey and Cam Chancellor, they just don't have high awareness. 